albums. How long did your whole run last? Was it was it- like a year in total. It was like not very long at all. Yeah. Right. And was it very your choice to like Sayonara? No, they released me with a group of 50. I uh, remember when they released like uh, Shofunaki and like Charlie and Jackie Haas and wow, all those people. Really? I was in that. that group? Yeah, I was part. Of, I was the last. Mark Jindrak was in my little crew. And yeah. oh, I was, was with that, all them. Was that? I don't know if you remember this meeting. It was in California and uh, it was one of those production meetings that we used to have, right? Mm-hmm. And then Vince was like, some of you are not going to be here next week. And sure as shit, dude, it was like on a Tuesday SmackDown taping. And then that Wednesday, there was like 20 or 30 people just. Oh, interesting. Because I had been at TV the last week. It was in Arizona. I only remember because it was like ridiculously hot and our shoes were all melting and stuff. So I was, <laughs> it was like right before 4th of July. And okay. yeah, so it was, uh, I, I don't know, but it was a mass. Like there was like 50 of us. And I think I was the last one to find out because Mark and I were friends and I called him, I think was probably crying. Like, what is going on? And he was like, yeah, they do this. And I'm like, oh, they didn't, I had no idea that was even like. Oh, so you didn't read the fine, the fine I mean, in your contract? I mean, that you get hired? They go through all this to, to hire you they sought me out after personally you know what i mean and then they bring you and then you sign a three-year deal and it's they let you go after a year i just didn't think it was like oh yeah i knew i knew it was in the fine print but like you don't think you're gonna oh, yeah. that's gonna happen oh. you know what i mean shit did you ever hear the story about boogeyman when he got hired uh he got fired in the morning at 9 a.m and then rehired at three o'clock in the afternoon the same day that's so funny no not that particular story but I, I I did get the opportunity to sit with some of the older guys, especially overseas when, you know, at night, sometimes when there's drinks and stories flowing and uh, got to hear a lot of the stories of how sometimes Vince would go kind of toe to toe with those guys and they'd get, like you said, fi- <laughs> fired in the morning and rehired later or vice versa. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. Well, uh, you remember, you remember Johnny. Johnny Ace. Yeah. So Johnny didn't like Boogie. Okay. And then, so... I guess he thought he had enough power to be able to fire someone like Boogie. And then when Vince found out that Boogie was fired, he made Johnny Ace call him up and rehire him. Oh, that's hilarious. (laughs) I think with a raise, actually. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the uh, fucking WWE, man. That's how crazy it is. It's a. I think people don't realize how. I don't know these days. Obviously, I haven't been there in a million years, but it was right. kind of wild, wild west. 